Hello friends, today I'll show you how to configure a simple network by using a Cisco packet tracker. It is the best simulator for the beginner. So I am using this. Uh, in this Cisco packet, I think this is the version 6 Cisco packet tracker simulator. Now there are more versions which are updated. Then you can download there from internet. Um, so in this video i'll simply show you the how to configure a simple network by taking a uh, one router one switch and two computer and it's not a complex and enterprise design uh, today i am going to design a simple network so let's check some device first of all i will check a router you can take any router I am using 1841 series router. I am now taking one switch and one PC and one laptop. Now I have selected a device. Now I will do the cabling of this device. For this, I will go to the connection and use copper straight through cable. Uh, you can go to into the internet and source how to connect a router with router what wire is used to connect the router with router router with switch switch to switch and many more now i will take this cover straight through cable and connect my fast ethernet 0 slash 0 to switch fast ethernet 0 slash 24 volt i have used on the fast ethernet 0 slash 24 volt uh, to connect the router with the switch interface because that is the standard port now I will connect my switch with the PC and my switch with my laptop. Now I'll configure my network. Before configuring my network, I'll show you some topic. Uh, in a real life world, like if you work as a network administrator or if you work in a network company. Uh, you can't configure router directly by going to the router and in CLI uh, you have to take one laptop and connect your laptop with the console wire to the router and you have to go to the laptop desktop and in terminal and ok and you have to type no now you can see can configure your router from your laptop too but in this I will configure my router from router and not use an external device like a laptop I will directly con configure my router by going to the CLA uh, but in real life uh, or if you work in a company you cannot directly configure router from router you have to take one laptop and connect one console cable with router and another RS232 cable into your laptop now I am configuring my router from my <coughs> computer my, oh sorry sorry I am configuring my router in CLI so first of all when you open the configuration mode uh, there will come a uh, user access mode you can see a getter sign um, in the user access mode you can do a basic reliability test like uh, ping trace route like I will show you the ping command can be run in this uh, user access mode and in for going to the privilege mode you have to type in some kind of enable now we are in privilege mode in privilege mode you can have dedicated admin privilege and you have uh, you can use more command and can debug them like so IP interface brief so you cannot configure a router in a fullness mode too for configure a router you have to go to the config terminal or config mode for going to the config mode you have to type config tor circuit of config terminal <laughs> now you can configure a router from here but we have two interface fastener zero slash zero and fastener zero slash one i will select first fastener zero slash zero interface for setting we have to type interface shortcut fast ethernet 0 slash 0 oh sorry I have forgotten to type T here 
uh, I'll type <coughs> IP address for this interface and this IP address will be the router interface so I have to type the router uh, IP address and my sound max is 24 so that is 255.255.255.0 I hit enter now I have to wake up my interface you can see here the red dot so I have to wake up it by typing so sorry 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 no sort down command now you can see the green light has come that means that this interface is now wake to see this interface we have to go to the privilege more and type so IP interface brief now you can see I have a send IP address in the fast zero slash zero interface and its status is off I have to provide the DSCP to the fast standard zero slash one so I have to take this interface for selecting this interface I have to type interface fast standard zero slash one now I have selected that interface you can see this config slash IF here that means you have selected one interface now I have to provide the IP DSCP pool here I have to provide the full name I will provide LAN pool. You can put any pool here, like you can put any name of the pool here, like you can type Nitro pool, my pool, company pool, and many more as you think. I will enter. Now I will provide the network address here, and my network address of this will be the 192.168. 1.0 and my sonnet will be 24 as above and I'll hit enter I'll provide the default router address here and above I have provided the IP address 1.1 to the router so this will, my, this will be my router refill IP address I'll type this and here I don't have to provide the sonnet max because I've already provided my sovereign max in above pass internet zero slash zero interface so i don't have to provide here now i'll provide ip dscp excluded address 192.168.1.0 and network address and my ip address now i have finished my config now I will go to my PC whether to check my DSCP configuration is complete or not. I have to go to configuration and I have to click on DSCP. Now you can see my DSCP cases has been successful. That means my DSCP configuration is successfully installed. Now I have to go to laptop and repeat my same process as I do in my PC. Now I'll check by typing ping online to I think my router. See, I have got a reply that my network has been successfully implanted. Now I will go to the next PC and also do the ping command to my router. Now you can see your reply has been came and my data is fully achieved. That means my network is configured fully. Oh, so friends, this much for this video and wait for my next video. I will provide you more knowledge about this configuration. Uh, and before going into my video, I will show you some basic tips here like in your router. You can add a module if you want to like if you want to add a module like synchronous data link control sdlc concentrators you can drag it here but first of all you have to turn off your router and drag it if you want this we want t module then we have to drag it and put here now you can see